I spent 12 years for Libya. Hey, wait a <laughs> minute. I may not mind you. You know, you spent 12 years for Libya? Yeah, I spent 12 years for Libya. Sir, 12 fucking years for Libya. Sorry for using that word. Yeah. How was the, how was the experience there? This is a true life story. I'm talking it in the video. Okay. Which I never share with nobody. Okay. I was left alone in the desert. They, this is true life story, not joke, not no fun. No, because they can't find you, see you. Not fun. Only me in the desert, Sahara Desert. Life story. Changing the narratives with Mr. B. I celebrate you. I greet you, bro. Nice to meet you, sir. Same to you, bro. I greet you, sir. I greet you. Brother, well sir. I greet you. All right. I, I just want to ask you one or two questions. And I believe through this interview, a lot of people will learn. Okay? Mm -hmm. And before I come back, I bet your fish come back a little bit here. Okay. Before I come back to give you like just a, a minute for you to introduce yourself to the audience. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, all my great viewers, the president of the place you are watching us from. We are back again with another episode of this program, Changing the Narratives. Saying it the way it is in the city of Rome. You know the reason why I'm smiling? We have a big brother here which is going to review society things which you never imagined. Yeah. Every day that we dive into this interview, we dive into the depth of it. Today is another revealing uh, episode of this very program. Please, I beg you, stay tight to the end of this interview. I bet you are not going to have any regrets to this very one. And uh, without wasting much of your time, let us quickly talk to our brother as he introduces himself to you. Please, can you introduce yourself to them? Yo, my name is Kenny. Okay. I'm from Nigeria. Okay. And um, I live in Rome. Okay. So I'm been in Rome now for maybe 14 years. And uh, so that that's it for now. Okay, Baba. <laughs> you say 14 years. Yeah. Now you got there for Rome. Yeah. Okay. I get the reason why they ask that question. I keep up for mind, which is for a person to live for 14 years for one place, you get something to tell us. And apart from that, when you did Nigeria, like, what did they do? Yeah, when I did Nigeria, I didn't do business, I didn't do oil business and some other business, you know. Yeah. Oil so, business yeah. for Nigeria. Yeah. If you did the all year business on Nigeria, I believe say the people will be saying the whole Nigeria is strong. Now they 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 to all yeah, year. that was then. That was then. They, everything was okay, but not like now. You understand? So okay, wait. So you know the reason why they ask that question again. Okay? If you did to all year business for Nigeria, what do you make it for months? Yeah, the all year business we would do that time now into black market. You okay, understand? Okay. So because uh, personally, I live in Ikobai. Okay. So then NPC depot was you know functioning well you know you understand but uh at the time when when nfpc not the function again so things get IV, so everybody got to think of think of what to do next so so that's the reason why sometimes in life um you have to have plan b in life you understand so so everybody make decision and some other people then relocate to other places so for me, I find my place in I find my destination in Libya. Oh, so let yeah. me say you, you. No, no, I don't use. I don't use. Uh, I don't use. And uh, Libya, I go. Uh, I spent twelve years for Libya. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I may not mind you. You know, you spent twelve years for Libya. Yeah, I spent twelve years for Libya. But though I did go, they come. You understand? But all the time I spent for Libya, both going and coming. So. 12 years, yeah. Sir, 12 fucking years for Libya. Sorry for using that word. Yeah. How was the, how was the experience there? Because yeah. I believe uh, during that very Libya era, for you to spend 12 years, I don't know whether you get a lot of stories so we'll be here about Libya, 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 Libya. How was it? Yeah, the Libya, the Libya life, somehow, uh, as of then, mm. we use the word, only the strong survive. And they know the term, man, and man, they decide. But the language then, you understand? But Libya was hot, really. Uh, it was not easy for you to stay in Libya for 12 years. But depending on what thing you do and how you take integrate okay. as of then for Libya, you understand? But then, 
first and foremost, there is no human rights. That one is sure. But in other ways, if you if you were to ask me, in Libya is a little bit okay then, based on the way of life and the way of living and the cost of living. Okay. That is true. Okay. You understand during the time of Gaddafi era. You understand. Okay. This one will be talking about during Gaddafi. Right? During Gaddafi, okay. you understand. So as of then, you know, easy. But men still they survive. But nobody place where we say you need to advise somebody make it go. Mm. You understand? Mm. Because um, place where you don't get freedom, we be say you don't get rights. And uh, you feel just make all your money one night. If you don't make all your money one night, you don't collect them for your hands. Mm. Based on the asthma boy and other things, even the police and every other thing. But then the life of Libya was not that easy, but it was still. Okay. okay. The life of Libya was not at, that, that easy, but it was okay. But for me, I know if advise somebody, make me enter route. That one I'm sure. But everybody gets your destiny. You understand? There are places where we say, man, you feel go. They don't make sense for you. I feel go. It don't make sense for me. You understand? I'll get my destiny. I'll get my life there, full life. You understand? But other people feel good, they feel lose their life. Like for me, if I want to maybe talk about the story of how I enter Libya, not be charge play. You understand? Maybe I believe maybe some of my own means they will see this video. You understand? Then we we'll, Libya Road was blocked. I'm talking about year 2000, 2000 uh, 99, 2000. That's far, a little bit far. You understand? So I enter Libya during the time of evacuation 2000. But I spend most for Agades. You understand? Which uh, that one that one another story. You understand? Because then Libya block. There's no way. So we take Martin Organ. We spend ten days to climb the, to take through the desert, through Algeria, come back to Martin Organ again before we enter Libya. You understand? So then for me, I know if I tell you, I thank God for my life for today because uh, if not for God, if not for God, if not for God, I will not be here eh, talking to you today. You understand? Because personally, I'm supposed to lose my life in desert. That is true. You understand? Because when they combine, when carry us from Agades, get to some area in desert for us to eat. This is a true life story. I'm talking it in the video, okay. which I never share with nobody. Okay. The combined carriers, when we get to where we want eat, everybody got to come down to eat. You understand? So for me, I know they like crowd. I personally, I, I like doing my own thing right from time alone, solo. I got to go say, okay, make I relax or somewhere. My just rest my head. To be honest with you, brotherly, sleep carry me. Combine. And you, you you shift yourself away from the group. I go in, in I go inside one cave, go relax. Say my you relax, eat my food, when they combine one move, I follow. But based on the stress and everything, because we we'll not sleep for maybe up to two nights. You understand? I fell asleep. They combine move, people move for move come out. I was left alone in the desert. They, this is true life story, not Joke, not no, fun. No, they can't find you. See you. Not fun. Just hold on. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. I was left alone in the desert. When I wake up, it was it was in the night. Day already dark. But God was so kind. The, the moon. Yeah. That time, not the time of the moon. When moon to the shine. You understand? When I wake up, nobody. Only me in the desert. Sahara Desert. Life story. I don't know where to go. Nowhere, you know as desert be if you don't follow desert. Desert is an open place. You don't know your direction except the people will get GPS. Where if you locate area where they go. I was not with phone or neither with network or neither with GPS. But thank God, sometimes people don't believe there is God. I don't believe in religion. Sorry to say. I believe there is God. There is a supernatural power controlling the universe. That's how I believe on. So, when I wake up, everywhere was empty. 
I don't know what to do. The only trace I have was a foot, foot march of people. And you cannot locate the foot march because the foot march was scattered all over the desert. You don't know the direction to go. So I just say, okay. The only thing I did that day, which I can never forget, I just said, my God, that God, if this is the way I lose my life, it's all good. Shit. This so don't be emotional, sir, because people are listening to you. People want to learn. I, mean, I, I just see, yeah, I want people to... You, you understand? Mm. So, I was, I just said, okay, might follow any footstep. I, I take my choice. Mm. Along the line I was going, then I saw two guys almost half dead. No water, nothing. That is the place I drink my peace. The first time in my life I drink my own peace because I was with no water and nothing. Your own peace you drink? My own peace, peace my own urine. It's a true life story, not joke. I don't want to make video, make people for follow or no, do no, anything. No. I just tell you how you play. I, now my throat don't dry. I don't get water. I don't, get, I don't even get strength. Even my jacket when I carry, the jacket is heavy me. I have to throw away the jacket. Just they go with the coat. Along the line, when I see those two guys almost half dead, one was a, one was Yoruba guy, one was Igbo guy, Chinedu. I can still remember the guy named Chinedu. You understand? So I mean this one, this one almost there, this one almost there. And I let me get the small strength. And we don't know the direction where they go. What is see happen though? Those ones, they, they, they still leave those ones. I know I never met those guys for my life before. I you know, just met only I, two of them. Only two of them. And no other no nobody, no motto, nothing, nothing, nothing. So, what you want to do? Chine do me I not carry this guy. You not carry this guy. I will do Chine do say no, you go fi carry this. I not leave this guy behind. Because I the two of them, now he fall from combine. Oh, they fall that from is, combine. That is the story I'm telling. And tell they leave them. They leave their come up. Because in Libya, in Libya desert, when they combine they go. If you don't hold something, if you fall, as of, I don't know of now, I'm talking about them but way back. If you fall, you're on your own. The driver not going to wait for you. That means, now that you, you will see say, some, some people come up from Nigeria. See, today their family don't know about them. Mm. They don't fit to get their trust. You understand? It's whether they fall for combine, combine around, leave them, or they die for desert, they bury them. It's just those two ways. You understand? So I have to meet those two guys. I want to say, okay, you okay? Take this guy, small. Okay, move they go, but we not get direction. As we go, we see a lot of mountain, a lot of mountain, but we don't know the one way we will follow. So we got to follow our mind. Mm. Climb one of the mount, the, uh, the mountain, the rock. As we climb the rock, as we reach up, the guy, Chile didn't officially the guy climb past. So we got to let the guy lay down so that we too will figure find if we'll be still rescue to come pick up the guy. So we climb on top of the mountain far, far, far. So we from there heckle. And you know, if you don't pass desert, when you heckle from desert, even people we there for maybe far, far, far this time, maybe how many miles, you will hear the heckle. As we heckle, we hear another response from another distance echo. So we got to the echo, they trace the echo, they go. Along the line, me, I don't lose strength. She do not lose strength. Now only two of us, the other guy will leave him there. For me, that is where I tell you, say, forget say, I, I, I lost for desert. That is where I'm supposed to, my, my enemy is supposed to lose my life. As I match the rock like this, I saw the rock break. On top of the mountain, On top of the mountain. Now. that is the rescue of God. Not joke, not fun. The people where they heckle to us, not there. I go for good. No, let's say, wait or oh, wait. I just, I just. <laughs> you usually say, okay, you echo from the people echo, and yeah. you don't know their direction. I don't know them, I don't know their direction. As you pull like on top of rock, now you break. As you fall from on top of that rock, now you yeah. go for meet people when they say echo. People, when I meet there, they're almost about, if I'm not mistaken, as of then, so maybe be almost about 200 or maybe more than. They're there for tranquil, which Ray Bear, mm. tranquil them there. They use it to make business. Collect their money, go to Algeria, go buy food stuff, 
come for them. As I talk to you, maybe some of my niggas will see we we but we'll be only three. We will not get contact for how many years? We follow, we observe that incident. We did for Italy here. Do you understand? Those men, they have to rescue me. I don't know where I did. Now, the next day, even the guy will not know if we are about to today. It's a Yoruba guy. That's, uh, the one we will leave. Uh, say we'll come rescue. If two of us don't, we get rescued. Because we're not fit carry ourselves. Neither to say to go carry those, to go carry that guy. Even the jacket you wear for body, it is heavy you. Okay, what about Chine? Do I go to people follow? Chine, do not ask me I fall. And those people rescue me. Eh? They have to trace my location. The, the Algeria guys, where they use that they make business for that tranquilo there. Now you go find Chine, do come. Me, I don't know. This one are the story okay, after. I, fall, now you know even I don't, I don't know where I did. I don't know where I did. Now the next day, now the next day, now I realize myself. What people gather me, so now they come to tell me. Now so they carry gary, put for my mouth, hot water, gather fire near me before I beat, wake up. This is life and life and life, not joke and not fun. You understand? So like I was saying, after them. We did there, we spent almost about two or two to three weeks for inside our desert there. The 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 Algeria people then they collect our money, go Algeria, go buy food. If they collect maybe three hundred euro and three hundred dollars for now dollars, three hundred or four hundred dollars, they feel use twenty dollars, buy bread and water, come give us. If that one finish, they'll collect money around again. Where they don't see and say our money don't finish, they have to decide, it's okay, may the carriers go drop. Our mind, we just in Libya, because Libya be our destination. Mm. We just in Libya that the carriers go. That was my first trip, I'm telling you now. We just in Libya that the carriers go. So, the pack, the carrier almost about, if I'm not, if I'm not mistake, maybe up to about 10 or 12 land crosser come, where they take pack all of us. They go drop us for Algeria, Gillette. When they drop us for Gillette, inside desert, we they see the light in the midnight. So they have to tell us that is Libya. Not knowing that Algeria, they leave us there. So we have to find our way to trace that light Get into that light, we don't know in Algeria now we enter. Algeria police for sure. Us. We run back to desert. This one I tell you so now, I be like bro. Oh my book vein, you think can't tell. You understand? No, the, the police don't feel civil rescue now. Police they find out they want to carry you go back to several uh, several uh, several, uh, several, uh, several seven kilometer whatever to air fire. Which is uh... which is Mali. They deport, they have to deport, if they catch you for Algeria, they have to deport you to Mali. Not your country. And Mali there, Mali and place will be say, as then, goats, they chop cellophane. So are you as a human being want to survive there? We have goats, they chop cellophane. Not be legal. I'm telling you this, I know I don't want to make fun. I just tell you the way. You understand? So, we don't get choice. We have to run back to the desert. And God was so kind, that was the time of Ramadan, during the time of Ramadan. You understand? So, when we hide for desert, the bacteria of us have to come out to town to come find waiting for one job. After the police don't run, they don't leave us. As we come out, we have to meet another black people. We get ghetto, we have to lay connection. So, everybody come pack out, go connection. Because that time of Ramadan for Algeria, they know they do ready. You understand? Now, Ramadan remain, I think, maybe if I no mistake that time, maybe up to four or five days. Mm. So the ghetto where we did, the man only let us know, say, he go only leave us here because we'll be fellow Nigeria like him. He go only leave us here for that Ramadan. But the day Ramadan they finish, we have to find our way. So we have to, from that day, they make connection where we want to move. And this one, they say connection, we will not get money because the people who tranquil us inside desert, they don't suck us dry. You understand? Even money to eat is not a problem. We, they go to beg food for restaurants. They eat leftover. I don't know that idea. I don't know that you feel me. This one, uh, man, when we say it's not a deal with uh, raw money for Nigeria, I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. You understand? We have to go to restaurants. We will see leftover. We carry them. If you eat, if your if the leftover remain, if you go give all of your friends, maybe say may they not come out for us. We call them hustling. We only also to eat, not to also to get money. You understand? So after the four days, the guy got to tell us, say, my brother, you not get choice. But I don't know where that guy may be today, but may God bless him. The guy have to decide to give us two two hundred Algeria denounce, which is nothing. But just for us to live in own territory because that one are in business place now in ghetto. But anything we make police come meet us there, we not pay him money, police come bust the place, he go find money to take settle us. To take settle police mm, for us problem, and a problem to run. So you have to discharge of that to 200 Algeria dinars. For our mind, we just say that to 200, to 200 Algeria dinars now block. So we have to enter town to go find gate. Now, so the gate collect all the money from us. Tell us how they go. As they come up for Algeria for Gillette to be prescribed, as they step in into the desert of Gillette. Now, so land close are come, woo, 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 from different corner. Those gigs where we collect our money, now then use those land close, they set us off. We now, we pay money, we begin to run. They find we don't want to hide our head. They still collect money, they don't let you now go, they still go set you now up. Now, we now have to decide by ourselves because now through that desert, now we follow come. So we have to decide ourselves because we already get information from the town saying, if we reach Martin Organ, we feed from Martin Organ, enter Barigat, which is Libya. You understand? So we have to follow Martin Organ to Barigat. As soon as they go, none of us know road. But sometimes in life, God knows the happy children. That one are true. So we have to follow full step, normal level. Now so we take go jam Martin Organ. As you reach Martin Organ, we we'll see people with the carry all those in Rakomi, that is a Mekame. Because that one are their own lifestyle there with their tent. So we have to tell them, see where they go, they go Libya. But right now, we don't know the direction, we don't know the. So we meet one small boy, maybe up to five or six years old, or maybe maximum 10 years. My own, I know if you recall. So the boy say, Papa, don't do. We have to wait for his father in the night. As the father come, I'm all day with us. We say we'll not get money. So, at least, when they go that journey, a lot of people, there's something we call World Bank. A lot of people get money for World Bank. So, when the jungle don't read, people have to bring their money from World Bank, give them. As the man looked at the money, said the money not rich for, for him to carry us. I beg you, you please explain to us that World Bank, because people want to get <laughs> Okay, World Bank now, where in situation whereby you have to keep your money inside your yansh, inside your anus. Mm. So if you don't read it, you have to vomit it. You have to vomit it. And that same World Bank, even the rebel in the desert, they know that we as a black man, would they put money for inside World Bank. So if you don't want to bring money, come out, rebel can chuck knife for your yansh. They remove the money, come out. Chuck knife? Brother, this story where I tell you so now, not be joke. And we'll not finish this story for this video. Not be joke. Because the story is many and in long. So you just because honestly, mm -hmm. people, this one a story going to be saying a raw one where we say people need to understand the system. I, I believe say according to some people when we say I don't interview when we say they see pass through the uh, system or the road for maybe three or four years ago or still two years ago, they no change, nothing change for their story. You understand me now? So we just need to educate ourselves, sir. Just yeah. go on. Anywhere we feel see rich, we feel make them again and again. You are not saying a lot of people will make the mad on you for us to revisit you again because this is what our fans always do. Where they see who is really relating the real facts, not be to cut and patch. We always revisit it. I know I don't get money I want to get for this one without our anything. You understand? So the, the fact is that so when we get there, after everybody don't bring the money, come on, they must select us and say the money not rich. So people have to they bring their clothes bring their wash, bring whatever you want to just make sure say we come up for there because that place over there and the center of desert there is no way where you can survive there there is nothing you can do you cannot you know see where to sleep so the man look at our situation everybody begin to cry or one or two things the man say okay no problem it will help us so we have to day one side the man say the man give us time say maybe three four five hours time 
now we feel move based on inside the desert so a lot of rivers full everywhere where they want to collect your money where they want to collect anything where you get mm. but you know say so we as a nigeria or as a black man we're not a worker without we will not get plan b so make we wait if those in know the time we will to enter the road so when the midnight come this is why they tell you so the story long go brother eh? When the midnight come, where would the man tranquilos put like this? Everybody they on that rock. In less than maybe one hour, we see a group of people, if I'm not mistaken, they are up to 150. They use leg, they go. So they, I see blacks now. Another blacks. The man let us 